It's one of them kind of days. You can see it's just pure shite. We're going down 800. See that 800? With it solid concrete, the bars just bouncing off it. So there we go. Good morning and welcome to our new video. Which you may think is a bit lame video, but it's not. That's our plot there. Right there. As you can see, it's just at scaffold height now, ready to go up. So we waiting for the trad to go in and the scaffold to get lifted. And then we can get that uh, get the wall plates on and start the pikes. But uh, that's not today. Although we can keep an eye out while we're here because we are here. Check the through. This is us. I think it's the 28th of June. Uh, sorry, it's the 28th of May and the sun's finally shining and it's warmed up. Hence, the shorts are out. Although we're not allowed to wear them out there on site. Anyway, back to this. Uh, the ground's big drop in the ground so they've put these logs in. And then the ground drops again, so they've put this flag and edge in the garden. Flagged it all. Put some steps in. But we're here to do the fence. Same as I normally do. 100 by 100 posts. 3 by 2 rails. And the feather edge boards, which we haven't got yet. Which we're having trouble getting hold of. So, centre. Straight up the garden. Six foot here, stepping up to six foot and then following up the garden. And we're just gonna take that straight with the line and take that hump out the fence. So a nice straight fence. So we picked all this picked all this stuff up yesterday and the foot post mix and everything, dropped it all off. And today's digging, pick some boards up and then while that concrete's going off we're gonna overboard this these two sides. Obviously because the flag and edge come up too high, we can't nail down there. So we put this extra rail in yesterday, so we can nail the boards. So that's it for now, we can uh, start digging. Doctors in England have warned of a tsunami of patients needing appointments with lockdown. Ready? Yep. Okay. Right, you just get in position then. Top. Ready for more? I'm going down. That was the hardest one because we had to go through concrete. Should we, should we go that way? What do you mean? Should we back our way that way and put the little piece at the end? Or the little piece? Oh yeah, we can do, yeah. The further away it is, the better, isn't it? This this is a break in it, so it steps up here, so we can start afresh from that. Yeah. So I've marked the old so it's not remarkable. That's our first posting. 
looks a bit tall down here but it's got to be that height for the garden because we're going to step up um, so that's for there but we forgot the drill we can pick that up later so we've got this section and we're going to step up into this section we're going to work it that way now 2.4 right so these shouldn't overlap with these so we can take them right from there Okay. Well, that's a battery killer. Right, we've got our first one in. Run our next one. You can see it's just pure shite. Really wet clay. That's why I've got the nine foot posts to go that bit deeper. So going into something solid because all this is made up round, as you can see. So, um, I think it's time, that's time now, because we need the radio on, because it'd be a long video just watching us do one hole. <laughs> so, let's get you swapped to time lapse. Right, post number two in, and it's really, it's clay, but it's very soft, that's why. We're going down 800, There we go, that one's in. That one's dug. This one's about halfway with its solid concrete. And the bar's just bouncing off it, so we're going to get back and get the breaker. As soon as that gets back, I'm going to and get that. Right, one, two, three, four, five. That one was bloody hard work because the concrete in it. That one was alright. I don't know which concrete is that, but this one, this concrete's deeper than we thought. It's around these um, timber posts, so I've been home to get the beast. So we're going to give that a go. Get this last post out, get it concreted in. And then go pick up the boards so we can get the all this old board done this afternoon and then back here tomorrow to put the fence up.
Right, we're in. Final post is in. That was another tough one. It's solid concrete. We haven't got the bottom concrete. This one's only like foot post. Obviously, because it's solid concrete, it's only for about an hour, but thank God. <laughs> Imagine going down. Oh, imagine going down three foot. Oh, I didn't. Well, I don't want to imagine that. It takes a lot of getting used to, Carl. Yeah. A lot of getting used to. That's it. That's our post set now. So we can string a line from the top. To the top of that one now, so, so I can line them up and get the heights the same as well. So off for dinner now. You get the radio out. You get the radio. There we go, posts in. They were hard work then, as usual. It would be our channel if they weren't hard work, would it? Yeah, there's three nine footers there and two eight footers. The top two are eight footers because the ground's a lot better. On the top, it's concrete, pure concrete. And we've even managed to use our brick. Fixed brick clamps up to the line. Dead handy. Yes, yeah, so they're in now. Got this go on. But we need to get the drill from the house, so we'll get that, get that put on. And that's rail for the rails and the, ready for the rails and the boards tomorrow. And we're going to go and pick up all the boards now and hopefully get this the back and the side done this afternoon. That's the plan. It's ten past we're two. Out. We are on quarter past three. Bang on. Quarter past three. Right, we've just beat. We're here. There's timber merchants now, as you can see, rod bottoms. Been here a few times, and we're just loaded up with. 253, I think. 250. 1.8 for those boards. Very hard to get hold of at the moment. Very expensive. That's just a gravel board. We've got a, a 4.8 ready to put in half. That's for the short section down the patio. So I'm going to head in for the pay for these now. Go back. Get the um, 3x2 fixed against the house wall. And then we'll go back tomorrow and start fresh on all these. Putting the rails and the boards up. So let's go into pay. So we're back now. Boards are staying in the van because we're not going to use them until tomorrow. Uh, yep. Gravel boards are all cut to length. Rails are cut to length. There's just those three top ones need putting down because it's not quite 4.8. So again, we're going to have a step up there. Straight up to the top and then all new boards around there, overboarded. That's it for day one. Oh, another nice day forecast. Oh no, it might rain a bit tomorrow, but we're not pretty late tomorrow, so we'll have to work in it. <laughs> Sorted. Good morning. Day two. So, yesterday we got the posts up. Got the uh, 3B2 attached to the wall, and we've got the rails and the gravel boards all set out. So today should just be get the rails on and get the boards on. So hopefully it's a straightforward day. We've got 260 Ooh, of these to go on. How many? 260, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. The car's caught on it. The car. The van's caught on its house. 260 boards in it. I was just saying, just, just this and the rails and fingers crossed it should be a good day. Yeah, hopefully. There shouldn't be anything to hinder us. There might be a bit of rain later, but that shouldn't be a big issue. Not when we're doing fencing. But yeah, we'll get these out and we'll uh, catch you up.
Right, that's most of the uh, boards loaded out. We're going to wait for here until we get the rails on, but all the overboarding boards are ready. So now it's just uh, onto the rails. Let's get it. Of course. Getting the bottom rails done first. Yeah, you can get Britling with Stephen Alex Cups, by the way, in the merch shelf down below. Right, get the bottom one in first. <coughs> um, I'd recommend we nail gun the top ones. Yeah, we are doing, we're going to put a brace in, nail them properly. Okay, good. I was just going to say, because look, there's still a bit of. Uh, it's going to be a bit like that, it's a long post, isn't it? And the crap mud. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, hammers? Just pin them all in first. Okay. Uh, that one's for the top. Okay. That's the uh, long one. Right. Um, level? Don't need level yet, I'm just, just pin them. This one in first. That's not making any noise. There's the gas in it. Okay. New battery there. Dead battery. I thought they both charged. Uh, technical difficulties, stand by. Better check if mine's working. Uh, that's a no. Is the gas? Dad? Mine's dead too. Good job we got a uh, good job we got power, isn't it? I think that's a dead one. Oh, Evans. Um, right, just nail it in now. Yep. Level. Let's check the plumb first. Okay. Up a touch. Okay. Oh, misfire.
ich glaube, der hat auch schon Unschau. This is the uh, top of the... Oh, it's a cheap wind for them. It's not, is it? Why? Because it's not supposed to go through, isn't it? It's supposed to be a bit extra. Well, I'll just have to go off on that one. Is it the top of the rail? Yeah, top of the mark. Yeah? Yep. Has it worked? Yeah, it's flush. Oh, yeah. Oh. So back after a quick brew. All the rails on, gravel boards. Ready to get these boards banged on now. 
So I've got a 1.8 and then a big step up there. Straight to the top. I don't, I've been away for a bit, so I'm not sure if Alex has been on and said I've abandoned him again. Hmm, we'll find out in the editing. But anyway, I've been to get some... Where we step up there? Our six, six foot piece would have ended here, and then we'd have had to put a piece in there, so... I've been to get an eight foot board, so I can notch it out around the flag, so it all flows and looks nice. And then while I was there, I got some preview on, which we're going to put on top of the whole fence as a capping. Similar to that, but it's going to stay permanent. And then while I've been away, Alex has been busy. Overboarding his side. Next door's doing their side too. So, nice private garden by the end of today. So I'll leave it back on time. That's while Alex finishes off and I'll get this. In fact, no, I'll film, it, film me doing this board now. go one side in now it's just that and this and we've got a bit of timber up here as a uh, brace and to give it a bit of a lip to protect it it should make it a lot easier to uh, just work up to that now no lines needed let's crack on
the energy. I'll do the usual, what time is it? Quarter past three. Not, not bad. Twenty past three. All done, all packed up. I've done the stones, haven't you? Yeah. So we'll start at this side, at Al bad. Alex's side, where he's done the overboarding. Like we showed in the other video, we had to put an extra rail in here because obviously you can't nail down there because the board go right behind the flag and edge and then it's going along the back <laughs> patched in there that's about two inches out of plumb so I think he's done a good job of making that look good across the back <laughs> uh, there's me template got the line haven't we yeah so our post is here, so this bit flies through. Put the three one on the top, which protects all the end grain on the top on the boards, which looks better, I think. And if there's a bit of turf left over, so we've put that back in there. And then down we come to the step. We've actually only got an eight footer for the so it, it flows through nice, just just looks better than having a piece in there. So there we go. Another fence job out of the way. Enjoy that one. This has the humidity, it was great. Yeah, it's quite warm today, isn't it? Yeah, and um, the uh, customer are actually moving in today, so it's been a bit hectic for them today. So they've got garden all finished. No messing, all done for them. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And all that palaver. Yeah. Yes, all that palaver. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Right, do it again. Just do the helm clip. You're doing it slow enough. No, oh, it could be, yeah. Ah! 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 Idiot. <laughs>